Concentration of Solutions. You can think of concentration as the strength. The more concentrated the solution is, the stronger it is. Most concentrations are expressed as a ratio, either the amount of solute in a given amount of solution or the amount of solute for a given amount of solvent. So, the higher the concentration, the more solute there is per unit of solution or per unit of solvent. There are multiple different units of concentration. Mass percent and parts per million, both of these have mass of solute over mass of solution. For percent, you multiply by 100. For ppm, you multiply by a million. ppm is useful for much smaller concentrations. Some things are at present in such small concentrations that we use ppb, or parts per billion, where instead of multiplying by a million here, you'd multiply by a billion. Mass volume percent is mass of solute over milliliters of solution times 100. Volume percent is milliliters of solute over milliliters of solution times 100. Molarity. This is a commonly used one in chemistry, particularly in um, solution stoichiometry. That's moles of solute over liters of solution. So you multiply your volume by your molarity and you get moles. Molality is used for colligative properties. The symbol is a small m and that is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Since the density of water is one kilogram per liter, molarity and molality have very similar values when the solvent is water and the concentration is low. At high concentration, or when the solvent is something other than water, the molarity and molarity, molality values diverge quite a bit. Here's a mass percent exercise. Pause it while you work. When you're done, you can unpause your video and see what I got. So we solve this by saying the mass percent x equals the mass of x over the total mass times 100. So we have, if we're doing it for sodium chloride, we'd have 35.0 grams over 35.0 plus 88.0 grams times 100. And when I work that out on my calculator, I get 28.5%. The percent water will be 100 minus the percent NaCl, which gives me 71.5%. Or you could calculate the percent water by putting 88 grams there. You should get the same answer. Here's a volume percent exercise. Pause and work it, then unpause to see my answer. To solve this question, we use percent VV equals 
the volume of our solvent over the total volume times 100. So we got 20.0 milliliters over 400.0 milliliters times 100. and we get 5.00%. Here's a molarity exercise. Here the goal is to prepare one liter of a 1.0 molar KCL solution. So we gotta figure out how much solid KCL to weigh out. And the way we do that is to treat the molarity as moles over liters. So, if I want to make 1.0 liter of a 1.0 molar solution, that's 1.0 moles per liter, that's what 1.0 molar means, and then I'm going to multiply that by the molar mass of KCL, which is 74.55 grams. So that means I need to weigh out 1 times 1 times 74.55 divided by 1 times 1. You can do this one without my calculator. So our procedure is we weigh out this much, and then we put it into what's called a volumetric flask. Right, we put our solid down here into this volumetric flask. And then what we do is we add some water And we shake the flask to um, dissolve our potassium chloride in the solvent. And then we top it off with more water until we get to the calibration mark. Right. So if we wanted to make less of this, we would use a different size volumetric flask. And of course, we'd weigh out a smaller amount. So here's another exercise for you. How many grams of KOH are required to prepare 500 milliliters of a 0 0.450 molar KOH solution? Pause and work it. Okay, so here's my solution. Start off with the volume, 500 milliliters. Let's convert it to liters. So, 1.00 liters is 10 to the third milliliters. Or we could do 10 to the negative third liters is one milliliter. Milliliters cancel. Now we use the molarity. Zero point four five zero moles in one liter. Right? That's this point four five oh moles per liter. 0.450 molar. 
Finally, we multiply that by the molar mass of KOH. So in one mole of KOH, there are 56.16 grams of KOH. And so when I multiply all of this out, I get my answer, 500 times 10 to the negative third times 0.45 times 56.16. And I get 12.6 grams of KOH. For dilution questions, use the equation molarity 1 times volume 1 equals molarity 2 times volume 2. Let's use that equation to solve this problem. First let's decode our information. 100.0 milliliters. That's the initial volume that we have, so it's V1. 0 0.450 molar, that is our initial concentration, M1. 250.0 milliliters is our final volume. And so what we're trying to figure out is M2. So let's rearrange the equation. M1V1 equals M2V2. To solve it for M2, we'll divide both sides by V2. to give us V2 equals M1 V1 over, I'm sorry, we want M2 equals M1 V1 over V2. Now we can plug in our numbers. Pause it and solve it. So I have 0.450 molar times 100 milliliters over 250 milliliters and I get 0 0.180 molar. For molality, we use M equals moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So let's use that to solve this question. We're going to get molality equals 0 0.10 moles over 0 0.50 kilograms. Which gives us 0 0.20 molal. It's a hard one to say. Here is a molality exercise that you can do. So um, remember, molality equals moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So the two seven grams of methanol you're going to have to convert to moles. And the 25 grams of water, you're going to have to convert to kilograms. 
pause and work it out. Here's my solution. So, first we're going to need the molar mass of methanol, which I guess is 32.04 grams per mole. So, if I have 2.70 grams of methanol, and I multiply that by one mole over 32.04 grams, my grams cancel. And I get uh, 0 0.0843 moles of methanol. And then I also need kilograms of water, 25.0 grams times uh, 1 kilogram is 10 to the third grams, which gives us 0 0.0250 kilograms. And now I just go molality equals moles per kilogram, 0 0.0843 moles over 0 0.0250 kilograms. Which gives me 3.37 molal.